turned it. Loudened it up, did up a little bit. No, it's about it's almost at max. But um, anyway, we'll do our normal. We're just gonna hang out for a minute before we get started. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. like there are a couple other people streaming, like the chess bras. Mm -hmm. And Nakamura. Hashtag chess. As he's affectionately known, Naka. <laughs> and Rue Chess. And that's it for the chess. Oh, no, Chess Chess. <laughs> oh, Chess Chess is on. 2.3. 2 oh, the U.S. Chess, chess Open Qualifier. Yeah. Okay, so there's some stuff going on. Anyway... Yeah. Well, we'll see. As soon as somebody gets here, go ahead and challenge me. Hey, Thaddeus, how's it going? How's it going, Thaddeus? Good to see you. Bad Thad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Kangaroo. Hey, Kangaroo. How's it going? Well, why don't... um, No chess TV today. No, that was just um, a random thing although um it's funny because i did just try to sign up again but i couldn't find the link hey Luki pookie so but i'm going to try to do that again if i can do that even once a week that's beneficial you know mm -hmm. more viewers etc get the viewer count up but um no i wish it were a weekly slot mm -hmm. no what happened was th i mean they're pretty full Chess TV, the regular slots. There are people like Ben and um, Hikaru and others, Gotham Chess. They all have regular slots. Then there are the smaller streams that have to sign up for sort of floating spots. And there are some spots sometimes at like 4 in the morning. <laughs> hey, Bishop Takes. Um, or something, you know, 2 in the morning. Um, so that was unusual for me to find a slot. So I think that just means somebody had to cancel or, or end their chess TV slot early. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to try to find some little random chunks of time so that I don't have to come up to the chess club at 2 in the morning. Oh, you'd mm -hmm. watch at 4? <laughs> well, it would be a better time for a kangaroo. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I remember yeah. I used to, I did actually stream for a few times in the morning, like six or seven in the morning. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I remember Kangaroo was on there <laughs> mm -hmm. a long time ago. Um, but, all right, let me get some playing going on here. What happened? I need hand number. I need maybe we can do one of this. But we'll start with me playing. All right. Doesn't matter that much. Old Lundo. Oh, oh, not this time. All right. Not this time. I'm going to take. Good idea. And take. Oh, no, F6. Never do that. <laughs> How's it going, Joa? Very aggressive play. There yeah. it is, that old Joa challenge. Hey, it's Working Class Hero. Yeah, we just started Working Class Hero. Just started it on up. First game. I want to change my mind, which will get some complaining from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great, Working Class Hero. Never been better. Hey, Working Class Hero. No, I guess I've been better, but you know. <laughs> yeah, things are going all right. I was really tired last night. I went to bed kind of early. Then I woke up early. I couldn't sleep. Early to bed, early to rise. Oh, it's trying not to learn. Oh, yeah, I remember at the end there, Happy Pineapple gifted a few subs. Mm-hmm. That was pretty nice. That was very nice. 
Isn't Happy Pineapple the guy who said, like, why do you hate Nakamura so much? He's a streamer, and you're a streamer and such. Wasn't that that guy? Or is he... Oh, no, I think Happy Pineapple was, how come uh, people on chess.com don't want to analyze the chess game with you? You know? You remember that? He's, he said that long thing about it? That wasn't Happy Pineapple. Oh. I thought it was. Mm. I thought, um, yeah, I didn't remember that at all. <laughs> Whose move is it? Mine. Oh, okay. Let's figure out what you do. All you can really do in life is try your best not to learn everything else is up to chance. Oh, okay, I get it. All you can really do in life is try your best not to learn. Everything else is up to chance. <clears throat> Next it up on. Extra to bon. But here comes the shack attack. Kangaroo asks the important questions, yes. Solid as a rock. <clears throat> see. He got you there. Yeah, that's it. It's the old one too. That's exciting, working class hero. Well, not too exciting, but you know. An explosive move there. See if Thaddeus has this technique. But you gotta speed it up, put a little pressure on the clock. Okay. <clears throat> it's almost midnight in Europe. I'll believe that. That four is a pretty good move. I like it. Uh -uh. <clears throat> that wasn't the best defense. I did. Well, what was a good defense? Pawn takes queen would have been good. Oh, because the pin was. Yeah, he broke his own pin. Yeah, let's see it. Darn. GG Thaddeus. <laughs> My Henry Asser. <laughs> that wasn't Yasser like. <laughs> But you shouldn't go e3, that blocks your bishop. You don't want to block your bishop. Like, play bishop g5, okay. and then e3. Then your bishop's not stuck here the whole game like it was. And c3, just... No way. That doesn't develop a piece, or get castled, or do anything you want to do in the opening. It doesn't re really even attack the center. c4, now you're talking. You, this is way too passive of a setup. Like, what are you doing this for? That's so passive. Then he got a lot of space, and he already has, like, compensation for his pawn. Oh, taking the pawns? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, I would have loved that. Yeah. Yeah, you wasted the tempo, like you said. But, yeah, I mean, your position's bad here because you played this. It's super passive. He, and he has all the space. And he, look how his pieces are really good. 
I would take black here down upon. He's got so much activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could have like taken the pawn at once. Yeah. Instead, and now you gave him another tempo here. So it's two pawns, but I mean, it's a ton of compensation. Like you got this and that and this, and he's all super active. That's a lot of activity. This move probably loses material. Maybe not. Yeah. You can't defend everything, huh? Yeah, that was the it's issue. It's a double attack here and there. So f4, I guess, is the only logical move. No, that still loses. It's just knight takes, of course. So yeah, knight c4 is a blunder. But your opponent has so much control of the position because you played it too passive early on. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, you're... You're down a piece for two pawns, so you might not want to trade queens, but it's kind of the wrong concept because you're getting checkmated. So you have to trade queens okay. when your opponent's checkmating you. There's like just no other way. And in the end game, the pawns get better. Like you have a pr protected pass pawn. Mm -hmm. So in an end game, that's where you want to be. You know, that's what you want to do. What about queen f4? How does that not lose a piece? I just didn't have enough time to assess the situation. To be honest. Queen f4 loses a piece to every legal move. Like, everything wins the piece. What are you talking about? What move doesn't win a piece? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what move does not win a piece? All three moves that take stuff win pieces. But, yeah, I mean, well, you probably knew you were getting checkmated or attacked, right? Yeah. So you should just automatically trade queens. You don't have to think too much about it. I still thought I had defense. f4 is x-clam. So I just didn't, that's why. Yeah, now you're winning here. It just wins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he missed this, but he blocked himself here. He doesn't really have a nasty discover check either. Right, yeah. That's true. So good game, except for one thing. <laughs> <laughs> we could do a hand and brain if you want. Yeah, let's do a hand and brain. You want to be the hand? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we can do one. Let's just go on down the the line. Pawn. You chose the worst legal move. Knight. <laughs> that wasn't the worst legal move, Queen F4. It just still lost a piece. There's nothing you could do about it. Bishop. Go us. Pin the tail. Wait, this is kangaroo. I thought this was like Nuranonum. Bishop. Um, I didn't even know if Nur was here today. Oh, just because he played f4 on move one. Oh. Bishop. Pawn. Knight. Knight. Pawn. At the car wash, says GM Benjamin Feingold. Do what? Oh, that's where he is? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I should have known that. Um...
<laughs> yeah, we should we should have a little. Um... Uh, he did it. Exclaim! Where's Ben at the car wash? <laughs> Pawn. We could play a sample from the song. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. The car wash is crowded. <clears throat> I guess that makes sense because it's Sunday. Mm -hmm. I guess everybody's getting ready for the work week, maybe. Yeah, even though they are always working for the weekend, <laughs> but then they get ready for the work week. It's kind of tough. It's true. Tough but fair. Hey, I am Snake Charmer in Market Sands. Go us. Mm -hmm. Remember to play fast. Right. Not kangaroo us. <laughs> <laughs> Although kangaroos are fast. Bishop. Yeah. Kangaroo says he'd never play fast. <laughs> it's nice to see that even with players at the same level, the plans diverge so much in hand and brain. Hmm. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, because we're all at different levels, really. Yeah, all three people involved in this game. <laughs> Okay, so let me see. Here. It's my turn. I have to say a thing. Though. Okay. <coughs> let's go with. Uh, let's go with. King. Good choice. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll happen if it's two masters. They could still play differently. Especially if they have different styles. Yeah, studying, like, school's for losers. We all know that. So, if you're doing schoolwork, just watch the stream. Schools for losers. That's what I said. <laughs> um, pawn. You know, I don't think that it's necessarily for losers. Now, come on. Well, everybody's wrong sometimes, Karen. <laughs> okay. Now I see pawn. Which pawn? Oh, right. What you learned in school was, I mean, you were only in school so that your parents could go to work. So, you know, it's not really for learning. It's just babysitting. It was a little learning, but. I mean, I just don't know which pawn to use. Well, don't lose on time about it. Okay. I'll just say it. And you spent 52 seconds on that. I know, but I did. I couldn't figure out what to do. Then make a random move. I will. I did. Good, good, <laughs> great. Pawn. Right. Now you're talking, making some move in eight seconds. That's way mm. better. Yeah, and we have more time. Even still, we I like to keep it up, you know, keep up the pressure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my son's, my older son's going to college. He's not a loser. Mm, okay, agree to disagree. <laughs> queen. <laughs> so, queen, let's see. Is chess school okay? I haven't heard of such a thing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Is chess school okay? Um, I think that there are certain individuals that... Knight. When they finish high school, that they should... Um, Good choice there. They should... Knight. Perhaps take... Oh. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps take a gap year 
you know, if they're talented enough or have some other side career in chess that maybe, like for example, she, you, for example, she's a good example. She really doesn't even enjoy college, but she has a lot of credit. She's pretty far along, so I think she does intend to finish. That's good. I'm happy you played this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. You learned. Okay, now you have to take, your move loses a bishop. Taking's forced. Well, I guess you could go back this way. Uh, that's silly. <laughs> oh, I yeah, get trapped. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. He played here. Now I said bishop again because I wanted you to take and just be of tempo down. This move still loses a bishop because he can go here. Oh, and man. There. But losing that bishop everywhere. That's all right. We only made two blunders each in five moves, so that's pretty good. <laughs> 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 now I have to say that I, I kept saying knight because I wanted you to go here and there. I don't really know if that's good, but that's what I wanted. <laughs> mm. Just because this is so weak. Okay. But this is okay. I mean, this these moves are fine. I didn't really care about it, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't have played that. You're right that that should have been played. Mm -hmm. This is all good. All right, so I wanted to play that when you were struggling to find a pawn move. Oh, okay. Because I, I like to do that when they fiend cut out their mm -hmm. queen bishop. We talked about that. It was a totally different position, but yeah, same yeah. idea. How didn't I see that, says Kangaroo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Agreed. No, when I said queen, uh, your move's okay. I actually thought about playing queen a5 earlier, but I wanted you to, because he gave away control here, I wanted you to go here and there, because he gave away control there, mm, so we okay. can try to break in the center. But queen a5's not bad either, really. And I, I thought he might do this, because that's obviously the point of knight g5. So I was ready for a knight if he did, which he did. And then he found it. Nice. It's a lot easier to find the tactics if somebody tells you the piece. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, I guess I'll look at all my checks <laughs> with that one knight. Absolutely. Good game. How about just a regular one now? Yeah, sure. Maybe one last one before the nun? Definitely. Um, let's see. Trapping the bishop. Yeah, yeah. That's what he meant. How did I not see trapping the bishop? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Blind spot BG. Yeah, it happens a lot on the side of the board. Yeah. That's a classic way to lose your bishop. Mm hmm. Poor Joa. Well, Karen will play you at the end of the stream. How about that? Do you remember Sham that used to play here? Yeah, I'll, uh, I think I only maybe saw him once. Mm -hmm. Before the pandemic, because I think he took some a break. Yeah. I just remembering my game with him. I remember I played the French, and somehow I trapped his bishop on the side of the board. We had a pretty tense end game. You know it's your move, right? Oh. <laughs> no. It doesn't make the noise every it time. It did make it. I, I didn't it. hear it's it. It's just quiet. Oh, let me just turn it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I hope he returns. His daughters used to play. And then they didn't. Let's see. I'm going to try to kick him. Kick it, wake it. Mm. And get out of my house. <laughs> get off of my cloud. My iCloud. <laughs> oh no. I got it. <laughs> Let's see if I took that. Bogus. I think I'll just not do anything. Hmm. That might be true trying not to learn. Well, I think Black could even do better than that, potentially. 
but maybe it's difficult to, to be sure. Hey, it's Scottish Demon Goat. Good to see you, as always. Mm-hmm. Hey, Scottish Demon Goat, how's it going? Hmm. Both players taking it nice and slow. <laughs> this game. It's <laughs> move eight. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Yeah, true. Take it slow. Whoa, whoa. <clears throat> Rookie eight action. Action Jackson. Oh, he's going to the queue, huh? Going to visit Qbert. You got the triangle of power. If only you could jump your bishop over it, it could be like a London. You know, your white square bishop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I smothered him in there. Always do that. <clears throat> yeah, my bishops are not the best. Bishop F8 is no problem. Yeah. No, Always do that. He's just hanging out. Yeah. Waiting for the opportunity. Yeah, he's got to wait for the opportune moment. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Runaway night, never coming back. <laughs> Went down to 100, then back up to 150 when I started not going for this triangle structure. That's true, Scottish Demon Goat. Your favorite move, B6, was quite strong. Take it till you make it. Let's see. Extra bound. He didn't even say on guard. Getting a little crazy, huh? Whoa. <laughs> All right. Didn't expect that one. Karen plays the French even when e4 is not played. <laughs> That's true. Somehow, yes. Darn. Two winning, it's sad. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm trying to do stuff. What do you have to do? It's extra piece. What else? <laughs> Kill a queen coming here. Shit. This is easy like Sunday morning.
Ba da do da. Run like the wind. How is Karen not scared of being checkmated? Well, it's nothing to be scared of. You know, just play a new game after that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Been there before. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's C.L. Smith. How's it going, C.L. Smith? Good to see you as always. Morrow demands an answer to the following question. If you saw a delicious candy in the hands of a small child, would you seize and consume it? Uh, well, uh, the question is uh, vague. You don't say what kind of candy, whether anyone is watching or... Um, uh, well, at any rate, I certainly wouldn't harm the child. <laughs> it still made it seem like he was lying when he said that, because it was like a lieometer. This is concerning. Let me get over here. Every move is difficult to predict. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Pretty much perfect. <laughs> All right, let's uh, parse through this one, huh? So H4 is kind of a joke move. Um, I probably wouldn't castle because that seems to play into the hands of H4. Okay. When your opponent's doing weird stuff, you should open up the position. C5 has to be the right move here. Okay. Just open it up, and then H4 looks ridiculous because you're going to be doing stuff here, both of you. All right. But H4 is a nonsense move. So you could take... Now, trying not to learn wanted to do this, then it blacks up a pawn. I'm not going to complain too much about that. But you could also take and go here. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, that's what I was worried about. Like this. And queen h4. Yes, queen h4 at once. <clears throat> yeah, that's disturbing. But we can check. I assume this. Mm -hmm. And then run. Well, we have to stop this. Uh -huh. Actually, we don't really have to, but why not? Yeah, this should win. Yeah. It's a piece of... Yeah. Yeah, he has some work to do, but, you know, seems winning to me. Let's see what the engine says. Check here. All right. Check in with Mr. Engine. Uh, he likes white. A3 is the only good move. Otherwise, black is better. Ah, see, because I can't move the bishop here, it gets trapped again. Mm -hmm. That's oh, the yeah, problem. The same trap. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same trap. That's why king d1, by the way, is x-clam. Yeah, if bishop d2, we are better. Exactly. King d1 was x-clam, I didn't even know it. But yeah, the bishop gets trapped on the side of the board. Too bad. Hmm. Otherwise, he would be winning there. So yeah, you don't need to really do that. Yeah. <clears throat> why king f7, not c5? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Bishop d6, I don't know about that move. I would never consider that such a move. And I don't understand it. you got to develop your pieces and like attack in the center and such. I don't know about that move. I also don't really know why he retreated now. Of all times, mm -hmm. to retreat. Yeah, you got to like, develop your pieces and play c5. What's going on here? Bishop d6, rook e8. What the heck? This was all good. Mm -hmm. I should play e5, probably. 
Yeah, that's why I moved my bishop there, but I don't remember now why I didn't use my knight to support the e5 push. Thank you for tuning a chess coach for all those gifted tier subs. How many was that? I think it was five. Five or ten? Let's see. Can't see. Just go back. Oh, yeah, five. Thank you so much. Nice. Um, the Grunfeld. <laughs> hey, Lady Buell. So here you attacked this pawn and he ignored it, so I would just take it. You seem concerned about a non-threat. Like, that'll be a threat one day, I mm -hmm. guess, but it's not right now. It's just win material. Thank you, Try Not to Learn, for those 24 century days. G5. All right, so here after takes, he can win material by doing this. And then after knight takes, bishop b5 would have won an exchange. That's the centities I just thanked him for. <laughs> so instead he did this, which is shocking. I'm sorry, how, how can I... Oh, that's what you said about the material. Like this? Yes. You take with the knight, I assume. And then he goes here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Instead he did this terrible. Now you're winning again. And just winning. I think you're winning the whole time. I like that. I'm gonna just run away. Up a piece, easy win now. Could take the pawn maybe. But I was going to, so yeah, could. Could do it right could, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have some, but Several there might ways. be some tricks, though. But then all this other stuff started happening. Here and such, but okay, I don't really care about it. He takes the e-pawn, I don't care either. Yeah, now you took it. Right, so this move hangs your knight. He's threatening nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess this, but well, that's the threat. Okay, go here. Right. That it's hard for me to calculate it, and I couldn't take the time. That was just the truth. You had like over a minute here. Well, it it seemed like there were a lot of pieces. I looked at it. I couldn't exactly tell. But it seemed like that. My I mean, this move hangs good. your knight in one move, so I'm just saying, don't do that. That's all. Yeah, I know. You know. I knew I was saying it. But he's he's not threatening anything. Chess is confusing. <laughs> I don't you, know what you, to tell you. You have to say like you have to say like I'm I mean, afraid always, of a move. That's what I'm saying. I know, but you always seem so surprised when there's a nebulous something and somebody makes a yeah. move because it, well, sorry. That's how I am. That's not how other people are. Well, that's why they're weaker at chess. Right. You have that's, to you have to say like I'm afraid of you're one asking, specific but thing. But you're asking me why, and I'm telling you why you don't like my answer. Well, I'm just telling you, I'm just Is trying to change the way that you I think know. so that you get better I, at chess. I agree. That's all. I'm not trying to make fun of you or anything. I am not taking it that way. But you I'm don't, just trying but to you tell don't, you. But I don't think you understand sometimes that it doesn't have to be a specific move. You can have a hunch, and I've even heard you say use your intuition, and it's yeah. just dead wrong. That's just what it is. Well, I understand that. I mean, I was a low-rated player when I was 17. I was 1,300. I know, you know but... So I, I understand what it's like. I know, but lots of people have different ways of thinking and their different um, learning styles and so you can't possibly mm -hmm. know everything because everybody's different oh well, yeah all. okay yeah so i'm sure. just trying to know you just seem surprised that i didn't have a, you said do you have to tell me specifically yeah, exactly. i don't have to tell you i don't have one i got flustered and that's just really all it was oh it's difficult to defend because your king is so valuable you know and you have to be more concrete about it is yeah all. i agree yeah. Anyways, he hung the knight. Then he hung his queen. Then he hung his rook. Good attack so far. <laughs> he hung a piece I every think move. that we might have both been getting kind of low. Yeah, he had no point. time, but you had over a minute here. You had uh, over a minute when the game ended. See, so yeah, I still had no sense of that. <laughs> All right, Boner Ichi yeah. was saying you should look at the clock. I don't ever look at. The clock. <laughs> yeah, you had a lot of t a lot more time <laughs> than he did. Good game. But I think when you were up a piece, you're just always winning. So, you know, what else? So you don't need to worry when people argue. You know, people just dispute yeah. sometimes <laughs> in life. That's, That's all. just you know, the way life is. Yeah. Well, anyways, let's look at the uh, nun book, huh? I think so. So 
Uh, Demon Goat, we can get you first um, after the stream if we have time. Um, we are going to be raiding Ben around 7. So have a little bit less fluidity at the end of the stream. <laughs> so I need to look at the clock. I just can't look at the clock. Oh, you're just joking. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but someday. <laughs> One of these days, My Alice. Pets, some, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this part's called Positional Pawn Sacrifices. That's cool. The first person, the first game's gonna be a Kryvaruchko against Smirin. He spells Kryvaruchko differently than I've seen as well. Man, these names are... Um, yeah, I always saw it with a K-R-Y instead of K-R-I. Against Ilya Smirin. I forgot Karl Veruchko's first name. Is there a specialized name for somebody, I wonder? You know how, like, if you're an expert in um, music or sound, you might be a musicologist or an audiologist? Or, is okay. there a specialty for somebody that that um, is well-versed in chess history? <laughs> I would just call that person John Donaldson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's look at this game. Uh, he says, The sacrifice of a pawn involves a rather modest investment in material, so a pawn may be offered for less tangible benefits than a larger sacrifice, such a lead in development or the weakening of the enemy pawn structure. All right, let's take a look at this one. Karvaruchko Smirin from 2008. European Championship. Smearin. Isn't that the one that Ben drew two pawns down mm -hmm. and everybody cheered? Yes. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, Smearin's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Hey, we can't see how many viewers there are because... Oh, yeah. Why isn't that there? I don't know. I wonder if I should refresh it. We could, but then we'll, we'll lose, lose the chat. chat. <laughs> Just for a moment. Um... Oh, you sent me, I did see your text, but I didn't have, yeah, trying not to learn. Tuesday sounds good. I will reply to you and we'll nail down a time. How's it going, the suspenser? Hey, the suspenser. Always good to see people named Spencer on the chat. Yeah, 50,000 viewers. I am not fooled by you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me refresh it. Why won't Twitch ever work exactly the same? All right, let me refresh it. It's too tough. There we go. <laughs> nice. Over 100 viewers. All right, so here, Karvaruchko mm -hmm. plays e5. White can continue with the quieter lines, such as a4 or queen f3. Uh, but this positional pawn sacrifice is dangerous for black. In return for a pawn, white will obtain a lead in development and drives black's queen off sides, providing the foundation for a direct attack on the king. takes uh, knight fd7 dubious would be met by queen g4 threatening mate knight e4 gives white attacking chances without any sacrifice Queen takes e5 dubious. Accepting the offer is risky. Knight fd7 is better, although after g4 or queen g4 g6, bishop h6, queen g3, white gets enough play for the pawn. This is obvious compensation. Mm. It's not developed, can't castle, pinned. White's very, very active too. So looks like Smirin got caught off guard in this opening a bit. And now this is uncomfortable for him. It's kicked around a lot. Mm -hmm. Queen's running around a bit. Queen h4, question mark. This proves fatal. But even after queen g6, queen g6, h4, 
black is in trouble. For example, h6, h5, bishop d3, queen g8, that looks good. <laughs> queen e2. Should flip the rook over and it looks like he castled. Or instead of h6, knight d5, bishop h5, knight c3, b c3, queen e4. What the? Oh, g6 first. I get it. I get it. With a winning attack for white. Yeah. Black's position is ridiculous there. So the position's tough either way. But he goes for queen h4 question mark. Yeah, this is a pretty sound pawn sacrifice. I would agree. Not really in your style, <laughs> Scottish demon go. <laughs> Queen h3, knight e4, exclam. Pretty cool. Threatening knight takes f6 followed by trapping the queen. And of course, if you take right away, he traps the queen. By keeping black off balance, white is able to trap black's king in the center. e5. Knight takes e4, loses the queen. Knight bd7, knight d4, exclam. Threatening to trap the queen with knight g5 or knight f2. But why did he... Oh, knight d4, obviously. Uh, knight d4 controls f5. So that's why the knight is now threatening to trap the queen. He can't go queen f5. This leaves black without any good defense. <clears throat> he can't defend his queen. What, what if he plays the e5 now? Like that, that looks like it could defend. No, no, I, I didn't give my... I thought I gave myself e6, but I didn't. So still knight move would trap the queen. Wow. Knight d4 traps the queen by force. Crazy. Subtle move. Mm -hmm. So he played e5, which gives his queen some air to run to on this diagonal. And also stops knight d4. Just kind of nice. Yeah, f5 and e6, exactly. <laughs> That's true, the suspense here. Looks like we're <laughs> blurry. Oh, yeah? You think so? I thought. Well, maybe. Oh, no, it came back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on OBS, it always looks normal. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, it's harder to see it on OBS. Yeah, I agree with that. Knight d6, check exclam. A massive improvement over the previously played knight g5. So this position has happened before. And knight g5 was played, but knight d6 check exclam is better. By offering a piece, white prevents black from castling. I mean, now you could take the piece, theoretically. Mm -hmm. But he plays knight bd7 instead. If e takes f, rook a d1 exclam. Knight c6, bishop f3, bishop d7. If bishop e6 takes gives white a winning attack I guess it looks pretty bad for the king mm -hmm. so instead of bishop e6 we can look at this move rook f e1 check knight c5 in black's position crumbles yeah, this is pretty tough. And even like if the knight is gone, rookie seven also. So he didn't take the pawn, he developed a piece. Hard to argue with that. Here, if queen e6. This is winning for white, despite the exchange of queens. Well, anyways, it's not down a piece anymore. Because he didn't take the piece. And this is just awful. And it's two bishops. What else? <laughs> In a wide open board. Yeah. Certainly lost. So he tries knight e4 to complicate the issue. But 
Bishop F3, X Glam. Renewing the peace offer in order to force open the e-file. So he did sack the piece. This loses at once, but even king f7 fails. Fg looks a little risky to me, but okay. Check. Always check. Here, just to stop mate. And black's king is fatally exposed. I guess it would take a little bit more work to win, but it looks like probably going to lose with the king on mm -hmm. h5. Hey, it's actor Laramie. Hey, actor Laramie. <clears throat> How's, it, How's going? it going? Good to see you. So instead of king f7, he played king d8. Rook d1, threatening mate in one. Queen h6 to stop it. Rook d6, winning the queen, basically. And resigns. So a crushing win by Kryvaruchko against Smirin, who was uh, pretty strong in 2008. Yeah. But he got caught in the opening, right? He obviously didn't really know this... Uh, he didn't really know this pawn sacrifice. Or maybe he did, but <clears throat> he his analysis was bad. That's also possible. But yeah, even like here, he's already lost. After just 13 moves. But it's a sharp opening, and obviously he wants to win with black because he's very strong. And I'm crying, Kravich goes pretty good too, but you know, mm -hmm. he feels like he could win. So yeah, a really nice game by Kravich Sack the pawn. Obvious compensation. But then 94 and, and 96. But this was probably his preparation. Because none said that this position happened and the guy, other guy played knight g5. So probably Kaivaruchko knew this and was very well prepared and Smirin was not. And that's risky when it's such a sharp opening. And you have black against the GM. 2650 GM. Well, I, I don't know actually in 2008 how high rated he was. Mm -hmm. You wish you could play like this Scottish demon goat? Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Positional pawn sacrifices can be very long term. In the following example, a pawn is offered for compensation, which is only exploited 20 moves later. Alright, this is so against Navara. That's so Navara. Oh, wait, what's the name of this section again? Positional pawn sacrifices. Okay. Oh, is that that must be the Grandmaster. Yeah, that pawn sacrifice would have been difficult for anybody to not mm -hmm. to say that that was going to be, it seems like. Right, you'd have to just prepare the opening better yeah. because it's so early hey. to be sure. I think Ed Mandel's wearing this chess club. Because the lights are off? Yeah. Like, they were like open people in there. He like dimmed the lights and turned them off to save money. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. That was funny. 50 people in his club and the lights are off everywhere. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. That's absurd. You've got to save that money. <laughs> he's like uh, he's like Mr. Krabs, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Playing true. So Navara from Vicon say 2011. Who's playing Navara? So. So. That's So Navara. Mm. A Grunfeld. Yeah, a guy in front of me at the car wash. Well, in front of me is like, he was yelling at them. He's like, I gotta go. Oh, really? So they just took his car, yeah, like his car was trapped and they, they didn't clean so There's the always yet. some problems at the car wash. Mm -hmm. It was really crowded and they didn't have enough people cleaning the outside. So I was there like at least 30 minutes, maybe more. Yeah. So so is black, I assume. Incorrect. Wow. So has white in this position? I've seen so have white. Actually, yeah. I've seen so have black, yeah. Yeah, because it's a Grunfeld. I remember Can there was a game of Hare Krishna, so... That was an important, in this line it was important too. Yeah, we've seen this position before in the book. Well, Caruana had black and he sacked his queen for his, like a rook and a piece. And he played bishop e6 according to none. I don't remember what move he played, but I do remember that game. He doesn't wash the car every day. <laughs> but yeah. almost. Yeah, because yesterday it rained. <laughs> <Right>. Every hour. <laughs> <laughs> the 
because they're crowded, good. so every two hours. All right. I just watched the SpongeBob where he's like, uh, where, where uh, uh, the Flying Dutchman. He's okay. like, all right, settle a bet, Mr. Krabs. Uh, if you could have SpongeBob or all the money in my pocket, which what would you take? And then Mr. Krabs is like, well, how much money are we talking? And then he like looks in his pocket. He's like, sixty-two cents. <laughs> he's like, I'll take the money. <laughs> Classic Krabs. Mm-hmm. All right, Rick D one. Bishop E six dubious. What is this book? This book is um, Understanding Chess Middle Games by John Nunn. Yeah. I don't understand. Hiking poet. Mm-hmm. Now this is risky, dubious. He says, as it allows White to make a dangerous pawn sacrifice. Bishop g4 is better. I don't really know the state of the theory now. It's probably moved forward since this book. d5 exclam. Nice. Sacrificing the pawn. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Cali Gambler, for the 45 cent dues. Oh, Scottish Demon Go got it. He knew about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Thank you for telling. Oh, I didn't even know what page number we were on. I don't know. We're doing it Doesn't on the iPad, it. so there are no page numbers that are visible. All right, maybe if I touch something. There is a way to yeah. see them. I don't By offering the pawn, White seizes the initiative. Or as the Aster would say, seizes the defensive. Oh, does the Aster say that? Yeah, he likes to say seizes the defensive when, when he means it. Wait, what happens if you try to win a piece... It, whose turn is it? When, when white, the last one. Oh, inside so white E4? plays like a knight take. Yeah, or knight no, takes first. This, all right, so you knight knight gotta do that. Takes, bishop takes E4. Then obviously, frankly, it's um. Bishop C4. Yeah, that's got it. <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, good. One should mention that. No, he doesn't. I Luckily, mean, I figured it out. That's hard to see. Good hiking poet. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm still not done. Keep coming Queen back. Queen C2. Yeah. What? Oh. Bishop B three. <laughs> what if it's Bishop B three? Uh, it's not. Okay, I'll Cause just believe I, you. Because then I take <laughs> it, and then I take your queen. And, and then, then I. And then you take, take your queen, but A eight's hanging. Oh, yeah. 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 But what happened? We're analyzing this move, which I was half joking, unless it works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then right, I was then I was serious. Right. And um, then here, then here. And then my rook on a it's hanging. Still theory. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So queen c2, I can beat this move. Knight d4? No, it doesn't work. Knight b4? Knight b4. Knight wow. b4, yeah. Wait, I'm going to play queen c1 <laughs> and a half. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Night before, I That's think it crazy. saves it. It's a crazy line. That yeah. doesn't give anything. No, he doesn't very, care about very, that. Very mad. Yeah, that's all forced. You have to play bishop c4 here, and then you have to play knight b4 in that other position. So, anyways, knight b5. <laughs> yeah, it's Scottish demon code. Correct. That is correct. Knight b4. Knight b5. Now this threatens e4, so the queen has to move. Yeah, you got it, Scottish team. You know about sacking the pawn and and such, so you're right at home here. <laughs> Scottish demon go wouldn't do well here with black because he'd be playing b6 every move. Like, right. Getting crushed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. In return for the pawn, white has secured the two bishops and inflicted permanent damage on black's pawn structure. There's no immediate attack for white, but his, this his position. His positional compensation definitely outweighs the extra material. The sentimental value is through the roof. Yeah, I mean, obviously this is bad. Um, but, you know, it's not that bad. Because he still has three against two on the queen side. So if he can stymie the initiative, then maybe he can have a playable position later. But white always has the bishop pair, so that's always going to be pretty good compensation, I would say. How's it going, Lords of Acid? Hey, Lord Zabasset, how's it going? Hey, Squire. I would have played 1b6, avoiding this position. This looks awful for black. Well, black is a pawn up, so, you know, it's not very awful, just bad. I mean, he says he has more than enough compensation. 
the straightforward e4 is also promising. Just normal play. But I can understand bishop h3. I like to extend the fianchetto. It's one of my favorite things to do. Mm -hmm. Extend that fianchetto. She doesn't know whether to play bishop g2 or bishop h3. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. Well, <laughs> anyways, bishop d2. Rook a6 dubious. It looks dubious. This, it doesn't take much to make a position like this go downhill. And here black should prefer knight e4 to d6 to displace the powerful knight from b5. Yeah, that's a solid looking move. Mm -hmm. That's a rock solid looking move. But he goes like this. It's a kid rock solid. Yeah, solid as kid rock. Bishop <laughs> c3. An exchange of dark square bishops would remove black's best minor piece. My subway is almost here. Mm. Took him like seven minutes. Wow. That's crazy. Eat fresh. From Subway? I guess. That's what he made it he sound does, like. He doesn't usually order for I, I was surprised to even hear that. You know? Yeah. Spencer's going to get all the ladies with this new look, says Callie Gambler. It's nice of you to lie, Callie Gambler. <laughs> Queen C4. Threatening to win a piece because it's pinned. And taking aim indirectly at these pawns. Well, I mean, it's obvious Wesley's going to win this position now. This position's just so good. After bishop takes e6 dubious, knight e5 x-clam, bishop c8, rook c1, knight d6, black has more defensive chances. Now, if you take the pawn, I'll win your pawn with a fork. So you, you don't have to. You could play rook c2 or something, but. Yeah, rook, I mean, rook c7. Rook c7 looks pretty good. I like white. I, th I think white's doing great here. Mm. But this should, if this is dubious and this is not as good as what so did, just shows you how good so's position is. Even this normal thing is good for white, and it's not best. Mm -hmm. You like white also, Cali Gambler? Hey, yeah, Jay yeah. Wolfant, how's it going? Did he? My dad did the chat when he's like here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, hey, yeah. impish look. Yeah, so is uh, has a great position here, but it, it's a very so like position. You know, the opponent doesn't have any counterplay. I mean, this guy's up a pawn, but he has no counterplay, and, and Wesley can just keep improving, and building and building until he cashes in somewhere that he finds to be the most optimal time. Mm -hmm. Queen f4, x clam. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just play super precise, subtle move. But it hits the paw and it pins the guy. Playing more slowly by a3, x clam is also good. After rook b6, knight c3. White can take on a4 with the knight. In fact, if you do this, this loses material. Oh, the rook is trapped. The rook is trapped there. We could try b5, right? But I'll just snap this off. Also, I could take here, x clam. Sacrificing the bishop so I can win the rook. It's all check, too, so you can't do anything about that. Yeah. That's why he said it costs material, not like it wins the rook, because there's b5. Yeah. Or I guess maybe some weird knight move too can we can just always take on e6. Mm-hmm. What are all the food items? <laughs> I guess because he got subway. Oh. Eat fresh. I'm a bit hungry. Me too. I was actually thinking about getting subway after work. <laughs> yeah. Full disclosure. <laughs> I haven't had subway in a while. Yeah. Forgot about subway. I get them sometimes. They got like deals where you, if you buy multiple subs, you get a free sub. So then I'm eating subs for like two or three days. And then I don't do that. I do that like once a month. Because <laughs> right. I don't want to do that all the time. <laughs> Seconds away. <laughs> yeah. Ben posted veggies. 
Yeah, veggies aren't cool. Come on. You don't make friends with salad. Ninety five. I like veggies. I like vegetables too. Here. So the point is like he wants to take on B two, but then this fork will win all the the queen. So he's kicking him away, and then when you move away, then I'll take your guy. Right, yeah. So instead he goes here, pin in it, and protecting it. Oh, excuse me. Well <laughs> yawn <yarn> time. <laughs> Tired today. Me too. I'm ready for nap time after subway. <laughs> F4. I'm ready for karaoke. F4, interesting. You love karaoke. But I, but who went last night? <laughs> <laughs> Not you. <laughs> so he said, have a good night. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he meant it like that, too. That's a good analogy. I like the Denny analogy, yeah, plain true. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. F4, interesting. Knight EG4. Knight EG4, right? Yeah. Forced, since knight ED7, question mark, loses to knight takes E6 X glam. Sacrificing two pieces for the rook. Why does your room look different? Your room shouldn't look different. Yeah, because I um, took the books out, and then I uh, some of them were magazines. I just put them on. Okay. Yeah. I put them on the table to the right, you know. Okay, this variation takes... Winning the knight, mm -hmm. and therefore being up the exchange. Winning any knight, I guess. Both knights are hanging. Okay, so that tactic is winning, so he has to block that. So you can't do that whole variation. Rook e1. <clears throat> I would have played rook c1 instead of queen c2. Hmm. Well, queen c2 has the added benefit of guarding b2. And, uh, well, rook c1 is probably playable, but you do give up d3, which might be irritating at some point or another. Like, actually, right after rook c1, maybe. So, yeah, I like queen c2. That seems better. Karen, what's your favorite song to sing at karaoke? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I have a favorite. I have a few that I kind of rotate through. What about uh, that Marley song? I like Bob Marley. Thank you for the 49 centuries, GM Benjamin Feingold. Yeah, I like um, No Woman, No Cry, and I sing Fleetwood Mac, like Gypsy and Dreams, Sarah. I like Amy Winehouse. I like Nirvana. I, like I sang a Nirvana song yesterday. Yeah, David Bowie. I sing a variety. All right, now Scottish Demon Goat might want to turn off his uh, his audio at this point. B6 question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Rook D5 was the last chance. Although after B4, B6, Knight F3. Black remains under heavy pressure. I mean, this doesn't look dead lost to me. You know, it's, it's equal material now, but, uh, you know, he's got a bad structure. But there's no more two bishops. There's just one bishop. Which is manageable. And black's active, you know. Black's active. And both sides have a potential pass pawn. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. This looks like, obviously, you'd rather have white because the structure's better. But but it's it's not the worst. It's not the worst yeah. position I've ever seen. Oh, you can't imagine uh, me singing Bob Marley? I sang Lithium. Mm -hmm. I sang about a girl in Lithium. But not recently. You sang Lithium last night, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I, um, I've sang several Nirvana songs. Uh, mm. What else did I yeah, sing? I've only done two. Lithium, I sang uh, Where Did You Sleep Last Night, which I didn't write, obviously. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did another one, too. Hey, Pam, how's it going? There's another one from uh, from Nevermind. I forgot what it was, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pam's up in here. Mm -hmm. How's it going, Pam? Yeah, I, I think I did a pretty good job with the Marley. Some guy told me two nights ago... I was on my way out. He said, I really like this soulful way you sing. <laughs> That's very complimented. I can sing some Marley now. Glycerine is good by Bush. I do like that. Oh, Molly's Lips is great, but no, I didn't sing that one. Mm -hmm. The Vaseline song. CCR's 
Amazing, yes. I love CCR. We love CCR. I sing CCR. Yeah, we love CCR. Mm -hmm. I love to sing, um, have you ever seen the rain? And who will stop that rain? <laughs> yeah. My dad always compares CCR with Queen, but I looked on my phone. I have 36 CCR songs, and I have 12 Queen songs. Yeah. I have three times as many. CCR is way better. Come on. Uh, I prefer CCR, but I like them both. Yeah, I like Queen, too. But yeah, yeah. I like CCR way more. Yeah, I like CCR. But CCR more. is like a top ten band for me. Mm -hmm. And Queen's like, you know, very good. Very, very good. Uh, Night of Three. I love Down on the Corner. Yeah, you knew that they knew that was a smash hit when they were when they were playing it. Yeah, how can anybody listen to that and not just want right. to tap their foot? Yeah. All right, let's see. So Queen D7, Black cannot avoid material loss since there is no good way to meet the threats of E4. And uh, 90, also 95 check is an idea. Like if you're trying to move your knights away, like get out of the fork. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got takes, I got checks. I got everything cooking. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hiking Poet, for that sub. Yay. Hiking Poet's new to the stream. <laughs> yeah, get I like out of here, actor Laramie. Come I like on. the Suzy Q. Yeah, I like uh, their Heard It Through the Grapevine cover. I like that a lot. Yes, hey, yes. I knew actor Laramie that you were just Oh, joking. definitely. That's why I ignored <laughs> definitely, that comment. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so queen d7. Takes, takes, h3. Winning a piece. If you move your knight, you get forked. Takes, mm -hmm. takes, resigns. But couldn't he have defended better than walking into the fork? Um, yeah, I don't know. He made it seem like no matter what, you lose material. Oh, he actually gave a variation. For example, rook d8. I don't know why I didn't see this. Here, e4 is decisive. Yeah, because e5 wins the knights. I had this situation in a game uh, of my own where my opponents had knights here, and then I was doing this exact same thing, and my mm -hmm. bishop was on h3 too. It was like the exact same scenario. It's like you can't, you're just, you can't do anything. I remember thinking, you can't do anything. <laughs> There's nothing to do. Yeah, knight f3 was very strong. It's so strong. It has knight g5 and the idea of knight e5, which we saw in the game, like takes h3, knight e5. Yeah. Really good stuff. I like, like Chicago, yes. Chicago, I like some of it. Yeah, Chicago's, I mean, 25 or 6 to 4 is a great song. I agree. But some of that 80s Chicago, no good. Well, right, yeah, yeah. Didn't they do that? Didn't they do that song? Hard for me to say. I'm sorry. I don't. Maybe, I, don't I don't know. The Peter Cetera's voice is annoying what? sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can get a little whiny. <laughs> I mean, in twenty five or six to four, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like some of those from uh, Saturday in the Park. That's a good one. That's I not love, Peter Cetera. Uh, that's the other one. I love that song. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Maybe it, there is Peter Cetera in there. But yeah, Chicago's good, yeah. Unlike the city. Do you remember the guy this summer <laughs> that sang, the, uh, sh sang Chicago and some other older... He was really good. Maybe. Maybe, baby. He's had gray hair and he's kind of older. It was when it was outside. All right, this next section is called Liberating Moves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm assuming your Ben is probably still eating, so he doesn't want to start this early anyway. So keep going. All right, another Grishuk Gelfand. We've seen Grishuk Yay. face off against Gelfand a couple of times in this book already. And Gelfand's all over the place in this book. Mm -hmm. Unlike the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> How come Kangaroo hates Chicago deep dish pizza so much? I don't know, but I'm not a you know huge fan of pizza. I don't hate it. All right, this is from the candidates from 2011. Funny story about this candidates: it was uh, four game knockout matches. Uh, so Carlson's like, "That's ridiculous. I'm not playing." 
and so Carlson protested and didn't play. And then Gelfan won the candidates and played Anand in the most boring world championship match of all time, mm-hmm. which nobody watched, including myself. So then uh, the next the next cycle, there was a tournament that Magnus won and then beat Anand and became world champion. Hmm. <laughs> yes, this is fine gold Gelfan 89. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know Leon Russell. Does Karen dislike them? Wait, let me think who who is Whatever remind me who Leon Russell is. Or let me read this while he's typing that out. <laughs> okay, okay. This is game f- or round five of the candidates because they drew all four games uh, of of slow time control. So this must have been their their rapid tiebreak or something. Black has a backwards e pawn on a half open file, and in addition, his light square bishop is bad. This should add up to an advantage for White, but everything depends on whether Black can achieve the liberating move e five. If he can play this, then at a stroke, the two problems mentioned above will disappear. It's true. The pawn won't be backwards, and the bishop will be good. For the next phase of the game, the battle lines are drawn, with both sides focusing their pieces on e5. So he moves away from e5 immediately. Knight f8. The immediate e5 is bad due to de. Knight takes d5 x clam. And queen takes. Because of this pin winning back material. Oh, but wait, he's got this. He's got that. So he can snake away, but white still has a lot of initiative here. And white did clean up three pawns for the piece. Which is a lot of pawns, you know. Mm -hmm. Three pawns plus some initiative. And he even says when white has three pawns and a dangerous initiative for the piece. Yeah. You know. I mean, that's just unclear to me, but I guess he likes white. But okay, so he goes for knight f8. Pizza. You guys are having pizza debates. Well, that is important, yes. Mm-hmm. Everybody always says their pizza is the best. Yeah, it's like people say their beer is the best. Yeah, it is a similar mm-hmm. thing. People do that with beer, too. At the moment, white has five pieces controlling e5, while black only has three. However, black can also increase his total to five by playing queen b8 and bishop c7, and then rook fe7. Thus, in the long run, white might have to aim for another piece at e5 to prevent the liberating advance. Knight a4 x clam. Too far behind in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ten seconds behind. I want to see what happens now. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ugh. That's one disadvantage to be in. See if you put your chair behind as you'd be on here. <laughs> That's true. It's kind of <laughs> tough get, like, to get back there, us. though. <laughs> Knight a4 x clam. A good move. Clearing c3 for the queen. And opening up the possibility of knight b2 to d3 to bring yet more forces to bear on e5. White also has to think in the longer term. If he manages to prevent e5, there remains the question as to how he will is going to improve his position. The most logical plan is to aim for a4, b5, to create a second area of active play on the queen side. Black, in his cramped position, would have trouble fending off threats on two different parts of the board. Very true. So yeah, everybody's on e5, huh? And then Trump's like, liberate e5. <laughs> Let's see, what did he do now? Rick d8. Realizing that he cannot force through e5, uh, Black tries another idea. He intends bishop e8 to h5, and taking that, therefore gaining more control of e5. Oh, no, he did play that, yes. Bishop f5. This doesn't achieve anything, but it it isn't a mistake in itself. It's surprisingly hard for white to make progress while maintaining his grip on e5. For example, if he plays a4, b5, this would be probably what I would do, say a4, b5 looks really normal, knight h4, then black can again liberate himself with e5. 
since the complicated line gives some active play for the pawn. That was a pretty complicated line. I mean, compared to other stuff in the book, it wasn't that complicated. Yeah. <laughs> it's sort of normal. It's kind of longer. But oh, yeah, the knight the prevents like that. God. And the doubled rooks are good, too. Also, these pawns are both targets. And black does have a pass pawn of his own. But it is a pawn sacrifice, huh? But he says he has active play for the pawn. You know, it's very hard for me to, to judge that. Like, if white gets f4 and knight d6... You know, it'll look good. You know, like, why not, for example, f4 here? I could... No. I don't know. I, I would take white. You know, I would take white. You know. I'm talking about New York pizza. These people love talking about pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like pizza, too. Mm -hmm. Bishop g4, dubious. This allows black to free his position. White should have returned to d3 and tried a different plan. e5, x clam. Yeah, clearly. Clearly this works, right? He could take either thing. He took this, because that's obviously better. I mean, here, oh, okay. So Grishuk has some tricks, I guess. Queen h3, the only try. Otherwise, black plays rook e8. And trades, I guess. Queen c8, x clam. Gelfand is alert and takes the opportunity to snuff out any chances for white. He took, if queen h7, you might get your queen trapped. Even queen h5, rook h8. White must give up the exchange to save his queen. Hmm. How does he only lose the exchange? I don't understand. Rook oh, rook e7. Seven. I actually thought that, but then somehow I didn't think it worked. Yeah. Anyways, takes. And now black has no problems at all. They kept playing for a while, but it ended up being a draw. Interesting defense here. I mean, this looks kind of, still kind of tough, but he's got 97. Yeah, that's safe. That's very safe. Now, yeah, now it's no problem. He just took and they drew. The game could go like this, I suppose. And then draw. <laughs> but yeah, this is a good example because, like Nunn was saying around here, it's very difficult for white to keep control of e5 and also improve the position. Right? And this this is, like, I think a pretty good lesson for you specifically. To when, you, when you're threatening mm -hmm. to liberate your position... <clears throat> Your opponent has to either control that or let you do it. If they're controlling it, then they can't do something to you that would hurt you, like a4, b5. So it's definitely important stuff. Yeah. And I'm all about pawn breaks. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> because you're all about that break. I struggle with that's true. You know, making the correct one at the right time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But maybe with experience, it'll get better. But I'm sure in this position you would consider e5 to be a logical pawn break. Yeah. But yeah, even also b6 maybe. But you'd think that white should be playing on the queen side because he's got more space. g5. It's like what I would do. <laughs> mm hmm All right, what do you think? Maybe one more, huh? Uh, let's see what time it is. Yeah, I think one more is good. Did you want to start? When do you want to start, Ben? Seven. Right at seven? Okay, so yeah, let's just keep going. We can start early if you want me to. No, I think we're good to keep going. Because yeah, then you could still play a couple of games. Mm -hmm. Well, you could play Joa. He was crying. <laughs> hey, Towski. Hey, Angry White Boy 11. 
Good name. Mm -hmm. Get these knights up in here. All right, that looks right. Just make sure. Always play bishop f8. That's good. White to play. And this section is? Liberating moves. Oh, that's right, liberating moves. Liberate Michigan. That's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. Iconikov. There it is. Against... M Ma, my 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 wald. My wald. I think he's German. I never heard of him. This is from Havana, two thousand four. Let me read the chat for a second. It went a little bit blurry, but we'll see. It might. Oh, it's probably because when my arm goes over to yeah, type. Yeah, yeah. Probably, probably what so. it is. It'll probably straighten out, but if not, I don't we know. Can. It still looks kind of blurry. Let me see. Your hand. Okay. No, it doesn't work sometimes, I noticed. We tried yeah. that, and it like, doesn't always work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not only just with... Um, I've seen it on other streams, too. Havana Unana. Oh, I'll just do this. Almost like it just needs a little refreshy. Just me. <laughs> I like when it's just me. Oh, I'll see. Hopefully that. Is it a linear Dominguez game? No. Unless you're talking to somebody else, then maybe. <laughs> All right. Liberating moves aren't always as obvious as in the previous example. In this position, White's kingside pawn advance has left Black's bishop buried on f8. But White's king is also looking a, a little draughty. So he has to take care. Moreover, black has a firmly entrenched knight on e5. There it is. Oop. On balance, white should be slightly better, since for the moment black is playing almost a piece down, but the position requires careful handling. Here, white played queen d1 question mark. If white had foreseen the reply, he would never have thought to move his queen away from d5. Bishop b2 is better. Threatening rook a1. Although black can seek counterplay with a neat idea. Knight d4 x clan. Takes knight d3? Oh. That is a neat idea. The point is that if rook f1, c takes d, queen takes, knight c5 is awkward for white. Attacking both of these pawns. Why is the computer so noisy? I'm not sure. Usually it's not that noisy. Yeah. Hey, it's MG Weirdo. How's it going? Hey, MG Weirdo. Let me see it for one second. Okay. I just closed a couple of things. Got it. It's okay, computer. Great album. All right. I don't know. It's still... head? Yes, yes. On the stream yesterday, I gave them a prize if they knew your favorite uh, artist. It, so, it's Zeppelin. Right. Then I said I didn't know if Radiohead or Nirvana was second. Radiohead. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure, though. It's really bad. Yeah, it is pretty bad. Let me see it one more time. Okay. Sorry. No I'm problem. On my computer I can read the chat. Yeah. There's nothing going on there. And then Nirvana's third, right? Maybe. Hmm. Kind of hard to tell after that. I like a lot of bands. I mean, I like Blind Melon a lot, too. Don't forget Men at Work. Ah, oh, yes. And Men Without Hats. More like Men Without Jobs. Exactly. <laughs> Is that Futurama? I think Homer said that. Uh, really? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Scottish Demon Goat says Brian Adams. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite my favorite. I'm not sure what My name is. is Spencer. Her name's Karen. There's also 
Grandmaster Benjamin Feingold. Oh, but you can't really see him. Yeah, I'm too skinny. He's, yeah, he's like off. He's like stage left or something. <laughs> Exit stage left. <laughs> All right, so he plays Queen D1 question mark instead of Bishop B2. Now, actually, I did have a question. How come Bishop B2 threatens Rook A1 as opposed to Rook A1? I guess because of Knight D4 is the whole point. Yeah. He doesn't want to allow knight d4. That's why he played queen d1, anticipating knight d4, I guess. So that his queen's not on yeah, d5. Yeah, he wanted to put his knight on d5. But that seems weird. Yeah, queen d1's a weird move. Yeah. I gotta say. Instead, well, okay, he did play that. And black played d5 x-clam. X-clam. That's, With... what, that's what Karen would play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would play that. <laughs> Oh, maybe. I mean, bishop d6 is yeah, pretty good. Yeah, you got your bishop out. Yeah. This happens sometimes in a uh, hedgehog. Black plays d5 hanging the pawn to play bishop d6, and a lot of times it's a queen and bishop battery. As in the famous game Karpov-Anderson. Karpov -Anderson. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I didn't even make it up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> cool. yes. I was thinking as soon as you said it. Yeah. Uh, by giving up a pawn, Black gets his bishop to d6, where it, it points at White's rather bare kingside. Knight takes d5. There's no good line for white. Queen takes d5, question mark. Queen c8. That's a cool move. Queen back to d1. Knight d4. Knight ef3. Gives black a decisive attack. Um, thank you, I am Snake Charmer, for that tier 1 sub. Great. Appreciate it. So in this variation, none is suggesting queen d1 because actually rook d8 wins the queen. Or some material somehow. So, um, yeah, but then he gets knight d4, knight f3, and he'll have bishop d6, and with the knights and the queen, and also even rook takes e4 in the air. That's a lot of damage. Let's see, he has other variations here. E takes D, question mark. Knight D4, threatening Knight E F3. Still oh, still gives black a very strong attack. Because also even that's hanging. C takes D, he doesn't give that a question mark. Knight D4, this is a longer one. Like this. Bishop, uh, I did the wrong knight, of course. Classic. It was always knight e f three too, and I for some reason thought okay, do the wrong one. Ah, man, that's messing me all up. All right, knight e f three. Bishop takes d four. Check. And then take back. H six x clam. G five. Followed by bishop d six and black's better. <laughs> H6 G5, what the heck? That's crazy. I'm almost certain white didn't consider this. There's no way. I mean, what is even the point of all that? Well, white might want to play king H3 and win the knight. So the knight is trapped is your point. I guess. I guess. Can I meet King H3 with H5? You can, but I'm yeah. going to take the knight, then queen takes G4. Like, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm not up material. Yeah. So the knight being trapped is the point. Okay, this variation is just very complicated. Yeah. Ben, what... Your last name. His last name is Feingold, <laughs> as well as mine. First name Grand, last name Master. <laughs> but not Karen, she's a rebel. That's true. Without a cause. All right, so he. what did he do? Knight takes? I already forgot. Yeah, knight takes. I had to go back and forth there. Knight d4. Still knight ef3. Attacking h4. And also queen g4 is coming. Bishop e3. 
And he goes knight e c6 dubious. This unnecessarily passive move lets white back into the game. <coughs> Still, knight e f3 is the idea. <coughs> Takes, check. We saw this idea last time. You can't go attack the knights right now because my queen is stopping you, so this is a fine intermezzo for black to play. Followed by bishop d6 is very unpleasant for white. Note how in every line the effects of the liberating move d5 are felt and how strong the bishop is once it arrives on d6. Yeah. Can you spell it the same right? That is you, pretty coincidental. Let me guess, you think Paul Potts is amazing. Who is Paul Potts? <laughs> Whoever they are. He's a uh, singer. Okay. He's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever it is. He's okay. I never heard of it. Yeah, he's an opera singer. Paul Potts sounds like a superhero name. This It looks risky to surrender the dark square bishop, but this move isn't bad if followed up correctly. Uh, h5 also is an idea. Yeah. Why have I not heard of Paul Potts? There's no reason you should have heard. <laughs> <laughs> he says this maintains the balance. Okay. I mean, it seems like Black's a pawn down, but he's got a lot of good pieces like that. And even if you trade these, okay. This is also still good. And the king is always weak. Or Black's king is surprisingly not weak. Maybe it's not so surprising, but... Yeah. All right, let's... uh, <laughs> Like this. Ninety-three question mark. Now it's white who plays too passively. G H and H five gives him enough counterplay. Instead, he just kept it all closed with ninety-three, but now he's got no counterplay. Black is still a pawn down, but his dark square bishop's really good. Now black gets a grip on the dark squares and starts to exert increasing pressure on white's position. Oh, okay, two. If rook f2, this prevents the queen from penetrating to f4. But after rook a8, followed by rook a3, white's position collapses in any in any case. Indubitably. He didn't want to give up the a file. So he did this. Black is now winning... And my wald finishes efficiently. <laughs> <laughs> However, that is. He's the inventor of my pillow. Oh yeah, that guy loves Trump. Mm -hmm. The my pillow guy. Yep. Really? Yeah. How do you guys know he loves Trump? I, mean, it's, I just Trump read the news all yeah, the time about the Trump. Uh, Trump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's in the news all the time. I didn't even know the my pillow guy was yeah, a Nazi. thing. I don't even know what my pillow is, <laughs> but I know the guy loves Trump. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's been a Nazi for a long time. I mean, yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, who that's he Nazi is. good. Right. King G two seems kind of hopeless. What? Yeah, ridiculous. Always repeat. Oh, he won American Scott Talon a decade ago. He's genuine <laughs> trash. <laughs> he. Oh, Paul Potts won America's Got Talent. Right. I was like, I didn't think yeah, that the other guy. Pillow. No, not the other This would be ridiculous to lose all the pawns, so he didn't do that. He played queen d7, getting imaginary counterplay, and stopping the check. Bishop d4, x -clam. Knight h1, that's the move you love to play. Queen takes a4, resigns. After here, it's mate in one. Yeah. Cool mate. Like yeah, white knights are pretty active. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. That's true. I mean, I haven't seen white knights like that since I was in learning career. Knights in white satin, more like. <laughs> Am I right? No, the, the joke was above the crowd. I get it. <laughs> so good game there by Ma 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 Wild. Isn't that by that singer that I don't like? What? Hey, Here. Knights in white satin. No, I uh, like them. Yeah, that's, um, I know who it is, but I can't Moody think. Moody Blues. Moody Blues. Yeah, they were on The Simpsons. I do like them, but I don't like that song. Really? Yeah. Not because it's their best song? 
and songs okay. I just don't like it. Not a huge fan of theirs. Well, this is probably my favorite yeah, song of theirs. Because then they used it to beat up homeless. D five is a great move. Yeah, D five Bishop D six. Yeah, they were good on Simpsons. Yeah, they were funny. They were like talking in poetry. Yeah, I love <laughs> Yeah. All right, next time it'll be positional exchange sacrifices. Mm-hmm. Right, let's see what time. I was, yeah, that's probably about. I was hoping I could use this time to prepare for my lesson now. Um. Yeah, if you need to, yeah. Yeah, just a little bit because mm-hmm. we finished the last thing we were looking at. Mm, okay, yeah. Um. Hey, do you mind just hanging out with me a little bit? Maybe you could do... Oh, you have to get ready, don't you? Well, yeah, but I need five minutes. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. All right, bye, everyone. Yeah, I get to see, see you on Tuesday, time. maybe. <laughs> a farewell time. I mean, you don't have to. Just... Yeah, I like no harm. I'm hungry. You ate yesterday. I need to get... You could eat my sub. I had to get two to order to delivery. Oh, you I got just, two? Yeah, I figured I'll eat another one later. But you uh, can eat mine. It's got 37 vegetables and guac. Yeah, Spencer has to go teach. Um, I forgot who he teaches Sunday nights. Somebody. Uh, <laughs> is it, what's his name? He comes here on Wednesdays and Fridays. Maybe. Schmuggero. Tyler. Oh, I, he's not a student. No, oh, I thought he was. Uh-uh. Huh. I guess I made that up. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not a student. Yeah. Um, okay, well, guys, I, I'm going to play a couple of games, and then I'm going to raid Ben. Um, and so let me just go ahead and get it going. Hmm. Play faster. Why are you playing so slow? Come a little bit closer. Hmm. You cut off a little bit. If you want me to be... Oh. I might go to karaoke. Might not. That's true. But you definitely will. Stop at home first and do do, do dog stuff. Definitely. Because last night I was really tired and Spencer was going to maybe think, oh, maybe I should lay down. I said, I'll lay down. I did the I'll I'll lay down. Well, just make sure you let the dogs out. Oh, I definitely. Feed them and yell at them. But they start at 8, so it means I might get home a reasonable hour. Hmm. Uh, so, <clears throat> still theory. <laughs> yeah. True. Are you guys playing viewers? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Just a few though, because um, I'm ending the stream stream soon, and Ben, we're gonna raid Ben. Who? <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. I guess the people in the chat don't write jokes for a living. Is it worth it to register for USCF? in light of COVID and try to play online events. I mean, we can't tell you how to live your life. However, this is how you should live your life. Chickabooga subscribe with Prime. Hooray. The more you subscribe, the more subs Karen has. Yay, thank you, Chicka. 
Old books, do you recommend a 1400 read? I have no recommendations. Paths of Glory. That sounds like a movie. Don't I don't know. Read some Silman book. I don't, know. I don't think I have a way to save this. That's not even going to save it. Darn. Scottish Demon Guy, you're just too good for me. <clears throat> GG. Did you want to give us any words of wisdom? Yeah. That, that mouse, if you want to make it a little bit slower. Yeah. Hang on, because you... What? Okay. All right. So far, so good. <laughs> you stepped away for five minutes since Spencer aged 20 years. <laughs> yeah, so in this position... Um, he played knight h5, which is just a blunder. And you should take this with your queen, not with your knight. Okay. Your queen's good there. Oh, yeah. You're just winning. Um, what you did is also okay. Just your knight's good on e5, and your, if your queen's here, then you're putting pressure on his bishop mm -hmm. and thus h pawn. So knight h5's bad. And... I mean, he could take the d-pawn, I guess, but he decided, he probably just didn't see he could take it. So he played there. Um, you know, maybe he can't take the d-pawn, now that I think of it, because you can play bishop e4, and then if he takes the bishop, and you take the d4 bishop, you're forking his rook and bishop. And if rook g8, you take on e4, take on a8, obviously. I can see how that, can you show? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I never punish your opening insanity. Yeah, so so bishop <laughs> takes d4. Okay. Bishop e4, attacking his bishop. Okay. Bishop takes your bishop. Mm -hmm. Queen takes this bishop, attacking his rook and this bishop. Oh, okay. Then if he plays rook g8 to attack your knight, then when you take his bishop on e4 and he takes your knight, his rook's hanging on a8. And don't forget it. <laughs> but even if it was, it'd be good for white. Okay, so he can't really take on d4. So this is good for you also. H3 is good. Yeah. Now here, he's down a pawn for like nothing, and he has an open g file. So his bishop on b7 is quite good. So you probably should play something like bishop e4 here. Because okay. his other bishop isn't really doing anything. Then when you play bishop b4, you can play queen f3 and rook e1. You're just a pawn up. And he has an isolated h pawn. Mm -hmm. So his compensation is negligible. Knight f3 is quite a bad move because that makes, I mean, then you're in trouble probably. Um, yeah, you really want to, this, this, since he has the open file here on your king, you want to get rid of this bishop on, on b7. So after that, now you can't play bishop e4 anymore. Okay, so he has he has one threat here. Queen takes h3 because he played rook g8. So you want to play king h2 so you're off of that file. Yeah, obviously. And then after king h2, you can try to rearrange your pieces so you can play bishop e4, like queen e2, bishop e4, rook e1, bishop e4, just get rid of his bishop. Um, probably you're still better because his bishop on f6 isn't very good and you're still up a pawn. But, yeah, I mean, if you let him play queen h3, then it's over. Mm-hmm. So after rook g8, you have to be, you know, you got to be careful. Okay. Uh, this gets me on the time, too. Yeah, you could also play knight g5, g5 here. You could also play knight g5 because that, that blocks it. Oh, oh, actually, that's not defended sufficiently. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, just king h2. And then um, if you need to play rook g1, you can, but I don't think you need to. Yeah. Yeah, and then and so forth. Okay, right. Yeah, so queen c2 is just a mistake because of queen h3. Yeah. Okay. And also, if he doesn't play queen h3, then it's also a mistake because he has bishop takes knight because your g-pawn's pinned. Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah, queen c2 is a bad move. And the end. Yeah, after queen h3, then you couldn't stop anything. GM NRA says, uh, what part of the chess game do you think a 1400 should spend the most time studying? Yeah, I don't think that. You uh, always say tactics. Fine. 
Yeah, you do whatever you want. What do you mean you don't think you don't think it matters? The order matters. No, you to do study. you do what you want to do to study, not what I tell you to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you, you, the the problem that people have, and this is constant, is people uh, don't actually do any work. They just ask what work they should do. And yeah, they, and, then, and that's the work they do is asking what they should do. Well, the work is work. <laughs> right. You you shouldn't ask what I should do. You should just do stuff. So, like, study the opening, study the middle game, study the ending, study your games, play more chess, look at Grandmaster games, this, no, get chess less, spend a lot of time on chess. There's a reasonable question. Though. I mean, just always, yeah, but always just study chess all the time. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what you're studying. Just I study do, chess 24 hours a day. I do agree, like, something important that you just said, which is because Spencer and I kind of tangled on this very topic before, and he... Well, oh, he didn't want me to study in games because it's not as ef- efficient. Well, I don't. I mean, I enjoy it. So, mm-hmm. the, the more important is just making sure that I'm keeping the the enjoyment alive. Mm-hmm. He did see the point after I explained it, but coaches do get it in their head. Like sometimes it has to be in a certain order. Which is the order that the yeah. student learns. You, you just got to do work. Just learn stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, but most coaches do say that tactics are important up to 2,000 level, like really important. Yeah, I need studying to my 10 seconds game is a good idea. <laughs> yeah. I need to do more tactics. Uh, you need to talk to me. What? <laughs> Spencer says you should calculate, play the beginning, middle, and end game better and also not blunder. Yeah, you should play better, right? <laughs> right, um, right. In in summary, um, oh, you liked watching me do the tactics. Well, I don't know if I have time because Ben's about to stream, and I'm going to raid him. But um, I, that was fun when I did the survival mode the other day for the first time ever. I think that was Bonarici's idea. That was fun. Well, what do you want to do? Are you about to go get set up? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm so hungry. Mm-hmm. I still have part of my basil roll left. I didn't. There's basil rolls in the house. There's two of them. I know, but I'm so, saying I didn't even eat. Right, but home. when you go home, you, mm-hmm. there's two basil rolls that haven't been touched. No, now, no. There, now there's no sauce, so you have to use that terrible sauce. No, I just finished the one I terrible. started. Terrible. Not... Do you have sauce? I still have a little sauce left. Okay, good. Yeah. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm getting basil rolls mixed up. <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> I mean, there's two basil rolls at home. So All right. Just, I mean, no matter what, there's basil rolls. Yeah, I mean, and you could have my sub if you want. But it's, you know, I'm not going to like the way it tastes. But. Yeah, I might come get some sub in a second. So do I like um, Johnny Walker or Jack Daniels? <laughs> I'm not a big liquor drinker. So I, I'm probably going to have to say I'm more familiar with uh, Jack Daniels. <laughs> I did have a Jack Daniels shot one time. That was pretty gross. <laughs> oh, you want to email me, Actor Laramie? Yeah, just send me an email, Karen ATL at atlchessclub.com, and I will try to answer you within a week. Do you know where I know you that can't sounds have terrible. Jack what about Jack Daniels? Do you know where you can't have it? Mm, no. County, they make it. It's a dry county. Really? Yeah. Oh. Still? That, yeah. That's pretty weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sorry it takes me so long to answer texts and emails, but they do get answered eventually. Even when people are offering me, like, sponsorships, it still takes me a long time. I'm just really overwhelmed. You wouldn't believe how many, I mean, hundreds of emails that I get. But, um... Ben is setting up for his stream right now, so I am loath to start another game. Yeah, I do need an intern. <laughs> hey, Scottish, I tried to talk Scottish Demon Goat into um, being an intern, but he wasn't having it. What do I drink when I'm at karaoke? I almost always drink Stella, and then... One of the bartenders there bought me a shot a couple of different times that was really good. It had kind of a cinnamon taste to it. 
um, but I don't know the name of it. But generally, I just stick with beer. Rarely drink wine. Rarely drink wine. I like uh, sangria, but um, <laughs> maybe it was a fireball. That was so good. Oh, that was so yummy. And I'm not a liquor person, but I will say that I did feel warm. Maybe it was a fireball. One time when we met, we were at the World Open, and um, Ben and I, we met trying to learn there, and my son Archer was with us, and we were in the hotel lounge having some drinks. And there was some fan of Ben's that kind of accosted us in a way, but Ben kind of knew him too, there in our group, and his girlfriend was really, really drunk, really drunk. And <laughs> we went over to talk to the bartender and left the tables for a second, and she was pressuring me to drink a, um, a shot. And so rather than just tell her no, I just pretended to drink it. <laughs> I didn't want to drink it. I'm not a big drinker. I don't know why I didn't just tell, just say no. I just didn't, you know, she was just real aggressive and drunk, and so I just kind of said, oh, yeah, thank you, and then I just poured it out. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to play Joa real quick, and then after this, we're going to raid Ben. <laughs> well, that was pretty wimpy. I should have just... Uh, I guess I have a history of pouring out drinks. Another time, Ben and I were there at karaoke, and the bartender bought me a shot for my birthday, maybe, and I couldn't drink it. And so I poured it out in the bathroom because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. <laughs> but generally, I, I would drink a free drink. Well, we were traveling, so obviously we weren't driving. I don't know why I wimped out. I guess I'll play this move. That's what Spencer wants me to play. Seems to never work out when I play it. <laughs> Are you almost set up? I'm playing one last game. Ben's going to the restroom. <laughs> Yeah, I did an MG weirdo. It just doesn't feel natural to me, but I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs> Can't argue with theory. And probably I should have gone Queen B6 already, then it would be more theory. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go to karaoke tonight. Spencer went last night. I did not go. Oh, I was tired. Now I feel like I want to go. Darn. You will just go back. Like I have nowhere good to put my night. <clears throat> I can't even do that. Oh yeah, I can. I think Ben's starting to stream, so, um, <laughs> well, 
Well, I mean, usually I say no bone Ricci. I'm not somebody that feels like I have to go along with the crowd. Sometimes it's easier, like, if somebody's really drunk and obnoxious just to, um, tell a little white lie. <laughs> Darn, I'm also cramped here. Oh shit, I just hung my bitch, my night. Oh, he didn't see it. Darn, I guess there's just nothing I can do about that. Ah, darn, I'm gonna resign. That was so bad, Joa. Um, I'm sorry I ruined our game. I was getting killed anyway. <laughs> ah. All right, well, we need to raid Ben anyway. Um. <laughs> yeah, that was so horrible. I can play better than that, darn, that was terrible. But I was, all right, let me get the raid ready. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys. Enjoy Ben's stream. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Bye.